see you and tell your story please no so i am a survivor um in 2006 in june um i got it confirmed that i had breast cancer and mine was a stage three so it's quite a horrible one luckily i caught it just before it got to terminal so in that respect i've always classed myself as very lucky but um, i was what was i was 39 when i um, was diagnosed so again that's not particularly old um but it was a real shock it was like a slap in the face and i hadn't really had an awareness to it um so i guess that's what was my shake up it was well how many other people like me walk through their life as if well it won't happen to me um and so my my sort of what puts me uh, passionate about this is I want that message out there so that I say I, I love the Copperfield charity I love I love Fern Cottons I love the the, the handle Copperfield because it's it's for the young people and it's the young people that also need to be aware of this and I think we don't think of it well I certainly didn't um, so I've actually I, I was asked by a friend of mine to go to their company and I had to stand up and, and anyone that knows me I might be quite loud but I don't like standing up and doing presentations it's not me it's not something I will do but I actually made myself do it so that I could go and talk to all of the ladies there and I had to do two sessions which was horrific um and just talk to them all and I literally just thought you know what just talk like a person just talk to them like a normal person on the ground this was what happened to me and this is what I think it was about and this is what I think you should do so that was nice and it was, it was nice to be able to do that and I think it's nice to be able to say to people, guess what happened to me and I'm okay, I got through it and look at me now, I'm going from strength to strength and it's not stopping me. Um, every now and again I might have a little wobble, even now, 15 years later, I still have a little wobble because um, it, 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 it's, I don't know, it's, it's, my way of getting through it was I opened up a box and I put it in the box, that sounds really bad. Um, when I first found the lump, I opened a box, put it in a box, and I thought, I am not going to worry about it, I'm not going to look at it, I'm just going to wait until they tell me, because it was my way of dealing with it, it was how I could get through it. So, um, and when I was going through my treatment, one of the things that they, they did was they were very, we're going to tell you about this stage, and then when we get to the next stage, we'll tell you about that stage. So it allowed me, and it worked for me, because it allowed me to cope with, this is the bit I'm going to get through this time. So I guess for me, waffling, for me, um, I'm passionate about wanting everybody to understand that it's scary, but it doesn't have to be scary. There's lots of people out there that get through it. I'm one of those people, like a lot of other people, and it doesn't have to impact your life. You can still go on and be incredibly happy and have a really good, fulfilling life. But I want the message out there and I want to be able to help. And, and what was lovely is breast cancer now were my client when I was at Paragon um, and so they asked if I would be be involved in the campaign they were doing and there I am on the posters my face on the posters for wearing pink which was amazing and my mum came along because unfortunately my mum um, five years after I'd gone through it she actually got breast cancer so I always said she wanted to copy me um, so she got breast cancer and she's a survivor as well um, and I think seeing me go through it helped her to know that she could go through it so i guess all of those sort of things just trigger things in your head and make you realize that you can help someone else so some of the ladies at, at work they've spoken to me before i've actually had guys come up and talk to me because they've got their parent um going through it or a friend going through it so it's nice to know that you can help someone so it was lovely Gemma and i we're very passionate we get very involved and i haven't been able to be as involved as i have been in the past but Gem just goes full steam ahead that girl she's just amazing and we just love doing it we love the day we love the people we love how everyone wants to do something and when we did she touched on it we did the um breast cancer walking where you have your bras and you decorate your bras and we all, we, all around, <laughs> we all went around we all went around, around Gemma's and we're all decorating our bras thinking what we're going to do and how we're going to wear it and it's, it's it's an emotional night of walking through apart from the doing 26 point something miles and it's through the night when you should be asleep it's that all of those it's the vibe of that night everybody and you can feel it it's so charged and it's you walk along reading people's signs and you're like Ooh! <laughs> it, gets, it really it does upset you and you're just like okay come on give me the tissues let's keep going it's just i think it's and we all know 
being kind, being good is a good thing and it, it, it makes you feel good. And if you can do or help one person, then that's good. And that that's what I like, the fact that we might be able to do. And if we can be people that help breast cancer reach their goal of having a cure by 2050, then that's a massive pat on the back to all of us for being able to to help get to that point. Yeah.